ziua, ce face să plimbare? Pe vremea asta? Vrei după filo? Da. O, ce drăguție. Fetiță? Da. Fetiță, nu? On February 29th, 1948, a pastor was kidnapped from the streets of Romania. He would disappear for 14 years and endure horrific torture for his refusal to renounce Christ. And in the midst of this suffering, he witnessed the incredible power of Christ's love. After being arrested, I spent the next three years in a solitary cell. It was enough to drive any man mad. The martyr Savonarola wrote, There are those who believe in God, and those who, just as sincerely, believe that they believe. Now I had to ask myself, did I believe in God? That we are persecuted but not abandoned. So please do not abandon us. My wife Sabina had also been arrested. Sabina, <laughs> Wurbrand. My son Mihai. Left orphan. Sabina would spend the next 18 months in a slave labor camp on the Danube. Sabina! Sabina! In these my darkest hours, my only hope was in prayer. Of course, in prison, prayer was forbidden. In spite of the beatings, I prayed every day. I prayed God would give me strength to endure. And of course, I prayed for my family. My feet were beaten so often and so brutally, I would never walk normally again. I'm sorry if a crocodile eats a man, but I cannot reproach the crocodile. I had learned the same can be said of my torturers. Communism had stripped them of any form of humanity and only God's love could restore them. Iar te rogi, mă! Iar te rogi! Ești tâmpit! Băiatul tău nu mai are casă! Nevoastă ta e arestată! Viața ta e distrusă, mă, băiatule, și tu te rogi în continuare la Dumnezeu al tău care nici măcar n-are chip! 
Pentru ce căcate mai roși, mă? Pentru ce te mai roși tu acum? Mă rugam pentru tine. I hate in the sin, but never the sinner. And some, we even want to Christ.